This machine generates $187.50 per minute and over $11,000 per hour. A 25 cent coin is worth 25 cents. Once it reaches the bank, a store, or people's pockets. But the material it's made from has almost no value. In this video, we visit the United States Mint to discover how 25 cent coins are made. Around 500 BC, the Chinese invented coins made from cheap materials like copper. Current legal tender coins are still made with copper, nickel, and other cheap materials. There are three main types of coins, legal tender coins used as money, gold coins used as investments, and collector coins. High quality pieces made of gold and silver that commemorate historical events. A coin becomes money when it leaves the mint. The United States Mint produces an average of 3 million 25 cent coins per day. When coins were first minted in the 1790s, they were made of silver. But in 1965, silver started to become scarce. So the United States government chose to switch to nickel-plated copper. The minting process starts with raw material extraction. Mines across the United States and around the world supply silver, copper, or other necessary metals. The United States Mint also uses recycled metal. The life of these coins begins here, in this huge scrapyard where mountains of recycled copper are prepared for use, they are squeezed by an immense hydraulic ram. The refined metal is melted, and metals are added. The United States Mint manufactures its coin from an alloy of 75% copper and 25% nickel. They all start as huge rolls of nickel-plated copper. To make coins, the metal rolls pass through a stamping press that cuts almost 300,000 blanks per roll. The waste has no monetary value. The machine separates each blank, as it will be recycled and reused to make more coins. The blanks come out of the stamping press like a slot machine and then an elevator transports them in small trays. The blanks are poured into collecting containers. At this stage, the blanks are simple metal discs. They have no face and are not yet worth 25 cents. Perhaps their size is similar to that of a real coin. But these blanks must undergo a big test before becoming money. The blanks must survive the action of a powerful machine. This machine raises the edge of the blanks around their perimeter. It does this by exerting pressure on the edge of the blanks as they pass through a very narrow channel. Everything happens so quickly that it's impossible to see the blanks pass by. The blanks pass through the channel between a rotating steel disc and a rail of the same material. The channel is barely narrower than the width of the coin. That's why the edges of the blanks are compressed and raised to be able to pass through the narrow channel. This is how the relief that is felt when touching the edge of a coin is formed. This edge is necessary to be able to stack the coins and for the blank to maintain its shape during the next test. The Coin Minting Press a hammer presses each blank between two dies. One of these dies stamps the design of the face on one side of the blank, while the other stamps the reverse. And when it comes to making easy money, the coin minting press is so fast that it mints 750 blanks per minute. In other words, it generates $187.50 per minute and over $11,000 per hour. An inspector randomly examines coins as they come out of the press to ensure that the faces are aligned. If a coin fails, the entire batch is discarded. Defective coins are destroyed to prevent them from becoming collectibles. But if the sample is perfect, all the coins are poured into an automatic counter that fills giant bags with 200,000 25 cent coins. That is, a total of $50,000. This mint produces so many coins per day that the surplus must wait in containers to avoid jamming the counter. Coins that pass inspection are now ready for distribution. Legal tender coins are packaged in storage bags and shipped to the Federal Reserve Bank for distribution to local banks. Like the video if you enjoyed it and share it with someone else who might be interested. Also, subscribe to this channel by activating notifications to keep learning.